join me today as I explore using natural fibers in woven textiles. I want to talk a little bit today about using fibers that you can find out in nature or in your own backyard. Um, I kind of stumbled upon a, another YouTube video that discussed using nettles, stinging nettles, as a textile or as a fiber for um, either weaving as a cloth or clothing or a textile. Um, and this is actually the fiber from the stinging nettles. And I'll show you a little bit about how I process this to make it into a usable fiber. First you will want to remove all of the leaves and small stems from the nettle. Um, you'll want to make sure and use gloves because because it's called stinging nettle it will sting you. I do save all of the stripped off leaves and pith that I remove from the stalks and I make a compost tea out of the nettle and you can use that on your garden. Next, you will want to go ahead and break the fibers up. Um, they're a little bit tough, so usually the best way is to put it on a hard surface and stomp on it, and that will break up the um, fibers initially to make them easier to separate. You want to take this hard core, this pith out. Um, the way that I've found the best hint is to start from one side, so start in the middle somewhere here, pop it so that you're basically pulling out the hard insides. And before you get all the way to the end of it, well actually on this one you can just pull it right off because it is an end. Um, but here you will want to so here's what you have of the fibers you already done have already done. You're gonna pop it part way up, and before you get to the end, you're gonna want to pop it from the other way and peel back towards where you were just peeling. That seems to save the fibers more and to longer lengths. After you remove all of the pith, you're going to want to go ahead and break the fibers down a little bit more. Um, so the best way is to take a hard surface, um, put the fibers on top of that, and then use the back of a butter knife and kind of scrape over and get rid of some of that excess extra pith that might be still hanging on. Of course, I always get a little visitor when I'm out working in the backyard. A few examples that I have of items that I found either in my backyard or out hiking. Um, I have, like I've shown before, the stinging nettle fibers. You can also use burdock. It's also a very tough and fibrous plant that can be stripped down and used um, for, like I said, weaving or making cordage. Um, I also have some grass, different grasses growing in my backyard, um, and this is the dried form. Um, usually you want to reconstitute these a little bit before you use them for weaving. You just want to get them wet, a little bit damp. Another one that I stumbled upon um, are corn husks. So I saved the husk of the corn, um, dried them out, and then reconstitute them or um, dampened them a little bit before I was weaving. There's also, you can use daylily stems, um, 
the burdock, corn husks, and anything that seems like a fibrous um, plant or leaf is something that you could probably use for weaving. Um, you could even use tall grass, like not grass in your backyard, but more even like meadows and that. You can actually use grasses that you find out there and use them for weaving as well. So two examples, these are actually little mini versions. Um, I wanted to make something to see if it's even possible to use the items. So this is a little basket that I made and this is made out of the grass. So this grass as well as the cordage, like the, the threads in that are part of the stinging nettle fibers of what I used. Um, and it basically started out making a circle and wrapping the grass with the nettle and then weaving it into there and starting up. Um, it's actually turned out pretty well. It was damp when I used it and then once it dried it actually hardened up to be pretty pretty sturdy. Um, it's definitely not waterproof, but it's something that um, could be done on a lar larger scale. It will just take a little bit more time. And once again, the neighborhood squirrels had to come and check out what I was doing and look for some nuts. And this little basket or platter or whatever you want to call it was made out of a corn husk. So this corn husk was made into this. I actually dyed the corn husk um, with some red red onion skin so it gave it a little bit darker color than this lighter color that it comes in. Um, but basically I also watched another YouTube video on this on basically um, wrapping it in on itself and tucking it in. This one took a little bit more time and I'm hoping to perfect this a little bit better. I just want to make an example of what you can do with items, like I said, that you deal with or see every day in nature or in your backyard. Get outside and see what natural plant fibers you can find in your own backyard or on your next hike.